Hi, thank you for joining. So, we're here today, we're going to talk about doing customer service with Etsy, doing it with eBay, doing it with Amazon. It doesn't really matter what platform. And what it is, is when you receive a question, a concern, a complaint from one of your customers, what do you do with that? I've been reading on the Facebook pages, um, the different groups, a lot of a lot of things are brought up there, and a lot of the responses are not very good. Just tell them a refund, you know, just refund them, uh, you know, tell them, you know, oh, well, you know, too bad you got to publish. I get all that, I understand that, because it is your money. It's my money, right? My money. I want my money. You're trying to rip me off. I get that. I understand that. Trust me, I really do. When you get a complaint, when you get a concern, when you get a question, you have to follow a basic set of rules when you respond. You have to give and provide customer service. And it's not that hard. It really isn't. And you can get good responses and potentially resolve issues. So, what do we need to do? First thing is you need to read the email. And if your first response back is, oh, oh my god, oh, you're ripping me off, scammer, scammer alert, da, da, da. calm down. Because what's happening is you're allowing emotion to get involved. And when it's your money, Mm, keeping emotion out of it is not very easy. But you have to keep emotion out of it because we don't do good. We just don't do well when we're emotionally driven. We make mistakes. We say things we don't want to say. You know, when you're in arguments, how many times have you gone there? You know, you said those things. Well, that's because it's emotion. If you deal with the stuff without emotion, it's a lot better. If it's really frustrating, just walk away from it. Don't just close it. Come back to it later in the day, a couple hours later maybe the next day, but that's kind of pushing it. So when you come back to it, read it. Read it out loud and see what the issue really is. It's a complaint. It's the wrong size. It smells. It doesn't work. You know, it was broken. Whatever the issue is, you need to respond. And you need to respond professionally. So the first thing you do when you start writing up your response is you say, thank you. Thank you for contacting me. Thank you for getting in touch with me. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. All various ways. And a lot of it's dependent on what the issue really is. And then the second thing, issue related, if it's a question, well, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Thank you for bringing me this question. Thank you for asking the question. This is my information, blah, blah, blah. Now, if it's a concern, I want a refund, you rip me off, da, 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 all the different things that, you know, potentially people could say. You need to apologize. And you need to throw a little empathy in there as well. Apologize? Why? It's not my fault. It's not about fault. It's about situation. That is very important to remember. Situation. You're apologizing for the situation. Not about you. You didn't do anything wrong. You sent them what you thought was perfect stuff. And they're telling you it's not perfect. It's not about you. It's not emotion. Business. Sorry this has happened. I'm sorry this has happened. I can tell. I understand. You're frustrated. And I want to resolve this. I want to make it right. I want to make sure we can get this fixed. All the various aspects. But I'm sorry. And I understand. Words mean a lot sometimes. And those basic words really do help. Next thing you need to do is you need to do. What can you do? What can I do? Well, this is what I would like to do. I'd like to, you know, offer you a refund. I'd like to offer you a discount, you know, or situational. This is what I want to do is I want to resolve this and make it right for you. I need you to send it back to me, whatever the various issue is. And it can always be based on, you know, the eBay policy or Amazon policy or Etsy or Binance or whoever your, you know, whichever platform it is. Set clear expectations. This is what I can do. And if you need a follow-up, set clear expectations on a follow-up. I will respond back to you within 24, 48 hours. Don't miss that timeline. If for whatever reason you're waiting on eBay for something, you're waiting on Bonanza to get back to you, whatever the issue is, if it's going to be longer than the expectation you set, you need to respond before your timeline and say, hey, I'm sorry again. I am still working on this. I hope to have an answer within Again, set your timeline. Never go past your timeline. Oh, yeah, yeah, I meant to call you last week. I forgot. 
No. Bad. If you're going to offer just a straight refund, just say, you know what, I'd like to offer you a refund of, you know, whatever you paid, purchase price, blah, blah, blah. Would this be acceptable to you? Because, you know, just because you offer a refund, so, well, I'm going to refund you money here, piss off. No. Would this be acceptable? Would this help resolve the issue? So that's the what can I do, what I'm going to do, you know, basically set your expectations for what I'm going to do. How do you end it? Thank you. Thank you again for contacting me. Thank you again for, you know, bringing this to my attention. And I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a better day. Something along those lines. Something kind of nice to end it. With your name. It can be your first. It can be your last. But with your name. Not your business name. Your business name is just cold. J2448. What? Thank you. Yeah. Really basic on that part of it. The reasons for that is, is for writing out is it's you have to get the emotion. You got to have a deal with the customer. You got to resolve it. But you got to get the emotion out of it before you hit send. Don't hit send yet. Before you hit send, read it out loud. You'll be surprised what you hear. It doesn't flow right. It's the you know it's just well it kind of well you know. Well, oops, I put this word in, I misspelled the word, you know, instead of, you know, shift, I've got, drop the F, whoops, I've done that. Read it out loud, you know, it flows well, good, it's saying what you wanted to say, good. And if you have somebody else that can read it out loud to you, do that. Wow, does it sound different sometimes. What you expected it to say doesn't always come out in your written word. That's why we're not all art authors. Or Arthur's. Read it out loud. Get an understanding before you get said. And once you're comfortable with it, the expectations are good. You're, you know, satisfied with it. No emotion in it. Dear jerk off. <laughs> then you get said. And make sure you follow up. Getting emotion out of it will make your life a lot simpler. Even when you get a negative feedback and they never contacted you. I've read ones that have gone, customer never, never contacted me. Well, that's how I read it. When that person said it, they may have been going, oh, the customer never responded to me. What am I supposed to do? But when I read it, it was, customer never responded to me. Piss off. That's not what it said, but that's how I implied it. So even if you get a negative feedback, you can do the same thing. They never contacted me. And you could say something along the lines of, you know, thank you for bringing this to my attention. I'm so sorry you weren't, you know, I'm so sorry you weren't satisfied. You know, I'm here to make it right. If you wish, you know, please contact me. You know, or I will follow up and make it right. It's just that easy. So, thank you again for joining. Uh, I hope to put out some more series on customer service. I'll tell you. Being in customer service for 20 years, you learn a lot. Guest services, customer service, business to business, you know, frontline services, you learn a lot. You, you learn what's the right thing and what's the proper thing. So make it right. Thank you again for joining. Hope you learned something. Feel free to ask a question. Don't forget that like button down at the bottom, eh? Hit the button there, eh?